Is that love bug in the car? Oh, it's love bug season. Hello, party people. I'm at Target right now. It makes me so happy just to be in the parking lot. Um, I have an order pickup, but then I also realized uh, some of the items that I wanted for order pickup weren't available for order pickup. So I'm gonna run in and get them. Also need to grab uh, like some eggs and milk and you know, a few accoutrements that are also not available for pickup, but are food items. So I'm gonna be in the store. So I thought maybe I'd film like a shop with me haul video. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to film in there, but I guess we'll see once we get in there. So let's, let's go. By the way, Meredith, little stinker got a hold of my list. <laughs> stopping in I'll just scan the sections really quickly these pillows I've seen all over Instagram and they are darling five dollars a piece I think and then these costables a set of two for five dollars those are pretty too these have been here for a while these lunch bags I got it last time I came maybe a month ago they are five dollars and very cute some lunch uh, containers and what are these called? Yeah, containers, food containers. They also have some ice packs up there, getting ready for summer, sunglasses. What is this, a sandwich bag? Oh, a reusable, I like that, that's nice. Some cups and stuff. Ooh, a floating speaker, that's new. They have some beach bags, those are pretty cute over there. And then, ooh, if you drink wine, they've got some holders for you. Ooh, $70, no, 70, really, where am I? A little decor area for nursery or kids room. Lots of really cute stuff. Oh, those baskets. <gasps> Maybe these will be good for Meredith's room. I do like the yellow ones. Oh, so cute. Looks like they have some stuff. Oh, what are those? Eco-friendly um, disposable cutlery. That's pretty interesting. Ooh, baby. So um, if you are planning a baby shower or anything like that, so cute. Okay, come in over here. They have that cute little pom-pom pillow. I'm holding like my crumbled up list. It's already a mess. And then these clocks that I see, very interesting. They have some summer decor. I don't know, okay, adding a bit more love. All right, some more stuff. You can peek. I showed this stuff like a month ago, those yoga. Well, they're not yoga, they're water bottles, but those are really darling as well. They did have yoga mats in this area. Um, essential oil sprays and stuff like that that I do not see anymore so people definitely bought that up some soap dispensers I don't know what that it's definitely not a cutting board maybe just oh look at that rainbow pillow <gasps> that would be so cute for a playroom oh my gosh look at this one down here I didn't see that last time this lunchbox with the cactus and then this water bottle right here or cup whatever that is you could put anything in it some stuff to keep the kiddos occupado always important oh wait oh a flamingo pen some balls yes we need some more outdoor toys I feel ooh bubbles I feel like my kids are just driving me crazy some more fun stuff right here oh a little campfire play set that is fun a beetle house for three dollars capture all the bugs and then let them go catch and release people catch and release oh my gosh even a little belt <laughs> A bug tool belt. Oh, a canteen. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. A bug tent. Oh, these bugs are living large here. Okay, and then more toys in this area. Oh, a little badminton set. Oh, that is just the best. A foam blaster up there. Man, that badminton set. I'm about to buy it. Ooh, cones. You can make all kinds of activities with that. Make your own um, obstacle course. I also see some wet bags up here. Those are really cute too. They're $3. I have so many of them. Some more bags up there too. Oh wait, what is this? A cooler bag? Looks like a cooler fanny pack. I'm kind of here for it. Down, I'm down. Down here, we can't travel, but we can dream going to Nantucket, Martha's Vineyard. 
Lights is magic combination of pasta. Okay, it's a bunch of pasta stuff. Do you make your own pasta? Do you know how time consuming it is to make your own pasta? A really big, nice pasta bowl right there though is nice. Uh, oh, and then an herb garden right here. That's pretty sweet. Oh, towels, yes. I love these every year that they do this because we go through towels like cray cray with our pool. So I'm always excited whenever they put new ones out. They have different prints. Oh my gosh, so I might grab that one really quickly. I think they're $5 a piece. Looks like they also have bath accessories, bath towels for kids. It looks like it has a hood. I think they're animals. And then some more bath accessories. Oh, even toys over there. Oh, a wooden paddle boat. So cute. Oh, stackable things. That's nice. Bath paints for your little ones. Over here, they've got some kid hats, some swimsuit hats, some outdoor hats, baseball caps, whatever you want to call it, guys. They've got hats here. They've got balls. They have, I don't know, stuff for the little kids. Keep them busy. Wait, what is this over here? A little pouch full of stuff. Oh my gosh, kids, swim mask. Okay, let's take a little deep dive into this section. I'll try to scroll. So you can kind of see what's happening, but also, oh my gosh, can you see what's happening? What is this? A lap desk, boring. Okay, BP throw. I don't know what that means. Oh, it's a picnic blanket. Let me see if you can see that in there. Can you see that in there? Okay, cool. I definitely don't need a picnic blanket. It's been a couple months and this is still what the soap and hand sanitizer aisle looks like. Uh, they do have some new products here, these Tom. It's a prebiotic for your hands. What, have you heard of such a thing? T look at Tom's being innovative and in all of that. They do have some hand sanitizer. Okay, uh, you can only buy one, that's the rule. So I guess there's still no toilet paper. <laughs> oh wait, no. Oh yeah, there's still no toilet paper. This is paper towels. They also have a whole aisle of paper towels. Someone's shopping down it right now, but you can trust my word. And around the corner. Ooh, Scott for the win. Also Target brand up there. So if you're out, you can grab paper feeling paper towel. Better than nothing. I have been obsessed with all things kitchen lately. So I'm currently looking for some organizing bins. This is clearly not the correct aisle. Oh, they have aprons, or they had, I should say, had aprons. <laughs> but do you see this? The lemon runner. Oh, I also see lemon placemats up here. Oh my goodness, I'm not that fancy or coordinated. This looks fun and interesting. They're reusable sandwich bags and reusable uh, snack bags. I love the prints on them. They're so cute. Usually when you see reusable bags, they're just, you know, a single color like this or clear. Most of them are clear that I've seen. I like it. Oh, well, hello there. I love these little sets, uh, these little glass containers. I think they're Pyrex. Yeah, they are Pyrex. They say different things on them. Yum, treat yourself. Oh, here are some. Oh, these would be great for leftovers or sandwich glass. There's two of them. Two of them for five, ten bucks. Oh, stop it. All right, I don't need those. I need bigger containers like these. Holy fajoli, 23 bucks for that? Listen, if it costs more than whatever I'm putting in it, I'm gonna keep walking. The bottom aisle is bare. What was down there? Who knows? Ooh, I've made it to the wood section. Ooh, charcuterie boards, anyone, anyone? Me, I'm raising my hand, that's for sure. $25 for that? I'm waiting for home goods to open. Oh, what is this? What's her name? Chrissy Teigen, you've done it again. Mini Dutch oven with a, like, what are you gonna cook in that? You know what I mean? What is that gonna feed? My six month old, I need something bigger. <laughs> Ooh, I do love these though. These are really pretty. Oh, Chrissy Teigen, you've done it again. I have my mixing bowls that she, well, she didn't make them. She Did she design them? Who knows? She put her name on them, that's for sure. I have been looking for some bigger casserole dishes. I don't want glass ones though. Ooh, what's that? <gasps> Ooh, I guess I'm in the market for a measuring cup. And these little bowls. I swear I am in the market for those. These might be coming home with me. We'll see. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm at that fancy kitchen appliance store at the mall. What's it called? Oh my gosh, please think of it. Williams something, Williams Sonoma. Oh, how did I remember that? Chrissy Teigen. What made her come to Target, dude? Anyway, these wooden spoons. <laughs> Also, I'm falling in love with them for no good reason. I'm being pulled toward them right now. I think I'm gonna get that, satisfy my itch. 
So I've been staring at these bowls, but right next to it is something up my alley. Is that a unicorn? Do you know what I mean? A cat purse? Guys, I never come down this aisle. Cat moms? Florida? Oh, uh, I that's coming home with me for sure. The Sunshine State? Why, why, why is this so cool? A peacock? Is this a joke? Why have I never come down this aisle before? Today's a good day for a vacay, son. Yeah, it is. What the crap? A dog person down there? As I expected, I was right all along. Oh my gosh. Parenting style survivalist. This is amazing. Have you guys ever seen these before? This is going well. Okay, hold on, I peeked this one as well. This calls for a happy dance. Oh yeah, it does. <gasps> Stop it. Do you see this one back there? It's a peacock, it's a peacock mug. Okay, I made some space. Look how darling. I love that. I would rather have that on my charcuterie board than this, maybe, I don't know. And then they have a bunch of plain white dishes. Ooh, I like that up there, that pitcher, that is beautiful. It's only $15 for that. And then these little bowls, $2 a piece. Meh, meh, that's how I feel about it, meh. Ooh, look at these though, these are nice. Oh wait, <laughs> this reminds me of my childhood, these Corel plates, wow. I mean, not the print, but the brand, you know? I've shared these before, these kids' plates and bowls, 59 cents a piece, and it has dividers inside of them. It's a really great price, very comparable to Ikea, especially when it comes to the sets. They also have cups that are not here, and then sets of silverware, but what's left is just the bowls and the plates, I guess. You get a set of six for three dollars. Oh wait, they have the cups right there. Love, love, love those. Oh, and then they even have bigger kid cups like a medium size. You see the size difference? Very, very cool. They don't have that option at Ikea. Just saying. 50% <gasps> off. How did I make it down here? Was this meant to be? Also, like on the go containers. Should we stock up for next school year? Or shouldn't we? I don't know, but look at this one. Six and a half bucks. <laughs> have you ever heard anyone say six and a half? Dollars. That's so funny. Um, anyway, I really like the dinosaur ones. Those prints are really cute. Oh my gosh, and this is a fairly large one as well. Okay, moving on. I have an obsession with water bottles. Also, don't need any more, but like I kind of do, you know what I mean? Can't have too many water bottles. Oh, <gasps> this is like torture to me. How can I be in front of all of this, but not bring any home with me? Look at these sloths. That one's not on sale though. Shield thine eyes, put the blinders on, and turn around. Because this is what I came for. Organization stuff. Really, I think it's in the next aisle. Oh man. Oh wait, a lot of you asked about this. I have this. I've had it for years. I love it. It hangs over your uh, like kitchen cabinet, and it's a towel rack, and then on the inside of the cabinet, you can, well, I store cleaning supplies, so a lot of you asked about it, and then here it is, just 15 bucks. The frozen chicken selection is a little bare still, but I did see this, some frozen chicken in this section, boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and then loads of meat over here. And then here is their fresh selection. I did grab one of these, so it looks a little more sparse than it did 30 seconds ago. But this is the new shortage, the meat shortage. But looks pretty good. Not so bad yet. Here is what I came for. Uh, and they sell these uh, meal prep containers at Costco. And I said they were $50 here. I was wrong, they're 40. I feel like they were 50 at one point. And just like, oh look, they have uh, just three for 24. Anyway, I don't need those. I need the big containers. A lot of people rave about these soft works. I almost bought a box of those, not that kind. I need the really big ones for baking. Uh, I know Amazon sells them, but I tried to get them from Bed Bath & Beyond and use the 20% off coupon, so says Crystal Terra, uh, but my location was out of stock. Say it, say it, say it. Maybe I can order them. I don't know how much I looked into it. Also, huh, kind of disappointed with my options here. Cereal box, I guess I can get one of those. Hmm, can you hear the enthusiasm in my voice? Oh, pretzels. $40? Is that a joke? Just one container is $40? I'm done. I'm done. This one is 20. Let's see how big it is. Um, not. This one holds cereal. 
How much is that? $18 to hold your cereal. Are they playing a joke on us? Am I punked? Are you kidding me? Okay, this one holds your beans for $13. This one will hold marshmallows for 11. Ooh, deal. All right, I'm done. I'm not buying any of that garbage. Ooh, this is more my style. Okay, plastic food storage. <laughs> $30 for 40 stinking pieces. Oh, these have snaps and stuff. You know, I just, I'm not there yet. My kitchen can look a mess for a while, I guess. Holy cannoli, they have rice. Due to high demand, dry foods are limited. You can only buy eight. Oh, stop it now. <laughs> but they have lentils, they have quinoa, they have bands of rice, normal rice, jasmine rice. What other variety of rice are there? Yellow. Actually, the, I mean, it is still kind of bare, but judging like from the last time I was here, it looks pretty good. And then the pasta selection over here. I mean, might as well be full, fully stocked shelves. A couple things are out, but for the most part, like it's not just one in there. It's really stocked so that's good to see it's nice to see as a matter of fact makes me happy everyone must be organizing because uh where are all of the bins <laughs> i don't see anything that would really fit in meredith's little cubby anyway so i mean those will but i want something that will hide the mess not accentuate it <laughs> i want something see-through okay okay target also happy to report the ice cream section is in full swing full supply Anyone else not really a fan of ice cream? Actually, look at all of this. This was bare just a few weeks ago. I'm impressed. Anyway, I wanted to share these with you, these snackable cookie doughs. So stinking expensive. You can totally make it yourself, but if you don't feel like it, it's available. Those are so good. The brownie ones though, you're better off buying like little Debbie brownies, you know? Oh, this makes me miss Disney. Oh my gosh, mini ones. Okay, I gotta go. The flower section still looks a little bare. However, there is flour and sugar available at the very bottom. I don't know what's missing out on here. Maybe the fancy brands right there. I'm not sure, but I mean, they have brown sugar, powdered sugar, normal sugar, and flour. Good news, Betsy. Ooh, even whole wheat flour right there. All right. Ooh, almond flour, nice. I just found a couple of things that may work in Meredith's little cubby. First of all, those are absolutely darling, $20. I don't know what you're gonna put in it, but these might fit also $20. Also, I don't feel like spending $40 on something that's going in a closet, you know? So we're gonna keep on walking, but they do have these really, like these are so cute, aren't they? Ooh, that one's really nice, almost $50 though. Very, very pretty. I mean, if it's going in your living room, it's totally worth it, but if it's going in a closet that literally only I see, <laughs> like not worth it. Ooh. <gasps> Does this make anyone else happy? Baskets? Oh, I miss Michael's. Michael's is open. I haven't gone yet. Have not gone. It's like a last stitch effort. Ooh, that basket's nice. I mean, they're all nice. $15 for that one. That one might fit. Ooh, ah, it doesn't. It's an inch too large. Just an inch. All right, well, if you're in the market for baskets, they have some really, really pretty ones. Pass in this area, Magnolia. Ooh, their summer theme. Look how pretty, I love the colors. Ooh, Joanna, look at you, Missy. Okay, this stuff, always, as always, would you expect anything less than Joanna Gaines? Beautiful. I love how they display it all here too. It's just so pretty. Oh, ooh, she has a little Dutch oven and a little mini, what is, for real, what are people cooking in those mini Dutch ovens? Her measuring cups look more like, um, what are those called? Murky, not murky, not Mason. Nah. Anyway, I can't think of it, moving on. These biscuit cutters though, those could come in handy in my house, I think. All right, and then behind us, this is what we see. Brush your teeth, lather, rinse, repeat. Helpful advice if you're in the bathroom. Oh, over here too. Oh, this is all bathroom decor, that makes sense. All right, over here, pillows, pillows, more throw pillows. Oh, a lot of pillows, guess I need to kick up my pillow game. My pillow game is weak. Ooh, I really like these platters. What's it look like on top? Looking good. Also these stands, really pretty. Ooh, a set of mixing bowls down here. Or no, it's serving bowls with lids. Oh, those are really pretty. I don't see a price anywhere. Oh, a serving spatula. Ooh, these serving bowls are really pretty as well. 
feel like I'm just not at that stage in my life where it's necessary. I just, you know what it is? I don't have enough um, cabinet space to store all of it. Okay, I don't need any of this stuff, but I'm just gonna browse right by. I do need a sound machine, which is typically by the candles, and they just seem to move them. And I remember someone sharing, are the candles even down here? Okay, I see them. I remember someone, ooh, someone changed their mind. <laughs> I remember someone sharing on Instagram a candle that they adored, so I'm gonna see if I can pick it up real quick. These are not sound machines. Okay, these are diffusers. Nope, I don't see it. Oh my gosh, people are buying up the candles though. It's not even hurricane season. Actually, it almost is. It was one of these brands. It was like Tiki something. I feel like someone just threw those here. Huh, I'm gonna keep looking. I couldn't find it. Also, it didn't look very hard. So it looks like they have some bleach back in stock. Hallelujah, I thought I'd never see the day over here. Cleaning products, ooh, still looks a little empty. They're gearing up for the 4th of July. I need some gardening tools, so I'm making my way to patio and garden. Hopefully they have my gloves, just, I guess I just use them so much, guys. I am a professional gardener and I wore like holes in my gloves. You think they're down there? It's on this last aisle, aside from fireworks and the largest sparkler I've ever seen, my gosh. What is back here? Nothing? <laughs> Coolers? <laughs> Ooh, clearance, all right. Oh my gosh, Hawaiian volcanic water? That is special, guys. It's not special enough to sell at full price, I guess, though. Look at these nice coolers. Summertime, oh, good, $40? Why? The one right next to it is 25. Just because it's a throwback and cool colors, it's here for you. <laughs> wow. All right, that's cool. This one down here is 24 as well. Yeah, I think it might be slightly bigger than that one. I have yet to find gardening gloves, but I did find these really cute boots. I'm not gonna buy them, but they're really cute. I do see some clearance items over here. I guess they're starting this whole sticker system. At least it catches your eye, you know? I don't need any of this stuff either. Oh, wait a minute, do I? What are these? Dried banana? Interesting. Cheddar bunny tails? I guess everyone is gardening lately. Okay, making our way downtown. Walking fast, faces past, and I'm homebound. They got some beach chairs over here. Actually looking really nice. $28 for a beach chair. Really like this one. Looks like people are buying them up, which is good. More beach chairs over here. Oh my gosh, a Wheeler Deluxe. They sell something similar to that um, at, oh no, it's not similar at all at Costco. It's something completely different. Anyway, these are really nice beach chairs. More up here. How much are these? Oh my heavens. $12, $12 for a beach chair. $12 to relax on the beach. Still cannot find gardening gloves, hoping that they have them. They do have some outdoor games, some fun games. Oh, is that croquet? Oh, that's so fun. My kids would literally like beat each other up with those sticks. So uh, maybe when they're a little older. When I say kids, mostly just my three-year-old. Also, should I buy it? <laughs> oh yes, a Bosey ball set. Oh, that's a fun game. It's like an old school game. What about this one? A lawn dart? Ooh, they would have fun with that. And it's like 15 bucks. What's down here? A four game combo. So all of those games right there for 30 bucks. Very cool. So I guess it's just a net and then the accessories. Hmm, some dominoes over here. Also, this is a great game with like the Velcro ball. If you have uncoordinated hands like I do. Ooh, some bubbles over here. Just some fun stuff for the kiddos. Wait, what is this? Ice cream sidewalk chalk? Oh, that would make things even more fun, don't you think? All right. Oh, a bubble machine? That bubble machine is only $10, guys. Wow, ooh, sidewalk foam. Guess I bet you that would say, ooh, that bag. The foam will probably stay on the sidewalk longer than chalk. I mean, I don't know from experience, $10 for that really big bag though. Ooh, that's tempting. I normally just use my Ikea bag, but these are really nice too. $12 for the, you know, each one of these as well. I don't think I told you the price for this, $40. And then the beanbag toss is 80. Looks really quality though. And those look, I mean, I'm assuming it's quality because it's 80 stinking dollars, but um, I like the print as well. That seems fun. 
They have some more towels back here, $10, a wet bag as well for $6. That's a good price for a wet bag. It's very large. They also have some pool toys, pool floaties, all the good stuff. Ooh, a stealth soaker. How stealthy can you be <laughs> in a pool, you know? Unless you're playing like Marco Polo and then you shoot someone in the face with water. It's always the best. What is this? A pipeline, ooh, a pipeline sprinkler. That's only $15 as well. That seems like loads of fun. A nice water option if you don't have a pool. Bunch of balloons. You know, you're gonna have a bunch of balloons over all over your yard is what you're gonna have. Mermaid dreams. Okay, all right guys. Ooh, nice little football there. A silly snack shark. Oh, he's snacking. He's snacking on your pool weights. All right, ooh, a spring float. Rec ooh, it's a recliner. Leo. Oh, and then down here, what's this? A lounge chair for your pool even. Back here, someone dropped off a cooler there. Ooh, what's that? Oh, I don't know how much that is. Oh, it looks like it's 80, $80 for one of these, but look at those dang wheels. You know what I mean? That's what they sell at Costco that's similar. Uh, but at Costco it's like 60 bucks. Ooh, these fans and they're only $4. You like put water in them, ice cold water, it spritz yourself off. Ooh, it's so nice and refreshing. And $4 is a steal. Over here, $5 for a critter blaster. Okay, all right. Ooh, dive rings. I feel like we need more of those. Also feel like, huh, do we? You know what I mean? Also want to share this with you. It's like a whole mat and it's like a splash pad, if you will, for 30 bucks. That seems really reasonable for how large it is. Also, giant boom box. <laughs> Bring in the 90s back, people. Oh wow, look at that one. They also have a beach ball and then big rafts. Ooh, those are $6. That's a pretty good because those are a nice size. Pool floats pool tube, all kinds of tubes. Ooh, a lounge float. Is that only $12? All right. Ooh, that one's only seven. I don't know if I mentioned that before. Oh, and there's more over here. Cool. I might snag some of these up. Oh, they're $5. Oh, four. four. They're four. Hmm. I also see some stuff. Maybe they're waiting to stock, uh, but they do not have any. Look at those nice glasses. They don't have any gardening gloves or gardening shears. I can't find them anywhere, so I'm kind of disappointed about that. Ooh, you know what they do have? Some Hershey's Dang Chocolate, making some s'mores and all that good stuff. Oh wait, look at these. You can plant succulents in them. What are they at? Oh, they are for planters. They're little planters. Look at that shark. Those are darling. Oh my gosh, a caddy for all of your some more needs. That's pretty awesome. All right, over here. Not very stocked, but they have got some, what are those, tablecloths? Cool, awesome, moving along. Ooh, wait, this flamingo over here? Pretty sweet. <gasps> it does something, don't know what it does. I bet you it lights up. I also see a lot of these like novelty cups. Ooh, some of them are water bottles as well. See, I'm just drawn to them. They, it does not look like it's gonna keep your water cold or anything like that, but that straw looks fun. So these are like $5 and they have animals on them, worth it. These are $6 and moving up, oh, six bucks, cool. Ooh, okay, $10 for these little sets. This looks like a little seashell, you get three in there, just one rainbow, and then this avocado, classic. Keeping on that theme of, yes, we've gotta keep the kids busy, there's this water table for $40. Ooh, a nice aqua play. $50, that is extreme. They have a slide, 35 bucks. A little picnic table up there. A lawnmower, oh, is that a bubble lawnmower? Classic. Down here, a shopping cart. Okay, that does keep kids busy, believe it or not. Antsy pants, unicorn hopper, 35. Ooh, a dinosaur, that seems fun. A little fire truck, tent. Uh, ooh, ooh, antsy pants, a uh, little like puppet show and lemonade stand. Those are 20 bucks. I'm gonna tell you the quality on those, not great, but you know, it's $20. Ooh, look at this bubble machine, bubble maker for $18. Oh, someone changed their mind on that one. <laughs> they would rather have that one, I guess, or this one for $10. <laughs> Can I read? I'm like, Duh. the mega shovel. All right, looks like I don't need anything in this area. Still no gardening gloves. 
turning the corner, I see even more rafts. Oh my gosh, stop that. Little silly lion canopy float for $15. That is darling if I've ever seen it in my life. So these floats look a little more fun. $15, $20, it ranges. And then over here, even more pool toys, some sun toys, fun toys. Ooh, what's that, a treasure chest? <gasps> That's actually pretty cool. A treasure, a treasure chest dive set. Say that five times fast. Um, treasure chest dive set, tre treasure chest dive set, treasure chest dive set, treasure chest dive set, treasure chest dive set. <gasps> I'm out of breath. Uh, nailed it, by the way. <laughs> a tropical fish dive set. I could say that. Tropical fish dive set. Tropical fish dive set. Tropical fish dive. Who? No one cares. <laughs> Got some survival equipment to keep your kids nice and safe in the water. Beanbag toss. Ooh, what's this rainbow for $156? What is that? A giant rainbow sprinkler. Wow, that is cool. <gasps> giant unicorn sprinkler. Wait, wait, wait. The unicorn sprinkler is only $35. Rainbow's $160. I think we know which one I would go. <gasps> oh, a splash mat. Yes, this brings back my childhood. A sun can, oh, another canopy boat for the baby. Oh, a little whale. Those are so stinking cute. Oh, okay, pocket lounger. And then over here, another lounger. Oh, and here's a little watermelon, or big watermelon, I should say. Giant melon sprinkler for 20 bucks. So that's a nice range. 20, 35, and then big mama over there for 160. That seems like it would provide shade as well. So I'm kind of into that. Oh, and then this jumbo tipping tower. Seems like a lot to pick up, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, and then a mini pool. This thing's only 10 bucks. Ayo, and then some water shoes. Guys, the other day I got some from Once Upon a Child. I shared that with you. I wasn't lying. Look, $20 for kids' water shoes. The adult ones are this are more, 30 bucks. Blah! I mean, they are a nice brand. They're Speedo. Ooh, $33 for some of them. Uh, yeah, I got mine for just a couple of dollars. It was amazing. Shop local, shop Once Upon a Child, if you can, if they're open. If not, I mean, these are great too. Save your feet from the harsh, harsh sunshine. I figured if I can't find a sound machine where they normally are, which I thought was by the candles, I would come to the baby section and they do have some, not the one I was looking for, um, but they do have one for $25. That's a portable one. 40 and 50 bucks though for a sound machine. I mean, I can just order it off Amazon. You know what I mean? This one's 25, not so bad, but I don't want a night light with it. I don't want it to be this massive contraption either, so kind of disappointed. But you know, life goes on. Life goes on. Ooh. Also, Meredith is of the age where she needs some, you know, stuff to eat, some bibs and stuff. None of my other kids have been half as interested in food as she has been, so it's been a fun journey. I really like those plates, but what I was looking for were those wooden, like bamboo plates with the suction cup on the bottom. So I might have to hold off till I can find any of those. I don't know what I'm gonna do actually. I know Amazon has them. Again, Amazon for the win. Ooh, also this Mom Frida stuff. Oh my gosh, if you're pregnant, like look into this. Look, it's gone because people love it so much. Frida Mom is amazing. I'm also in the market for a teether for Eleanor. A lot of people talk about this mitt, the munch mitt. I'm not sure. She has a bunch of silicone teethers, but I'm looking for something maybe to put in the freezer for her, make it nice and cold, see if she can find relief that way. Oh, we do have both of these toothbrushes for her as well. All right, I do like these silicone ones. It gives her like a nice texture option with the wood there. I haven't seen these monkey ones before or pig. Oh, neither one of them is a monkey. It's a lion and a pig. What am I thinking? I'm just assuming, you guys. I see the arms and go for it. Okay, this one looks like I can throw it in the fridge, but I don't know. Should I just get it just to see if she would like it? I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence about this stuff. You guys let me know. I'm on my way out, passing by the active section. I just love athletic wear, but I am stopped by Father's Day stuff. Is that what this is? Best dad ever? Look at these slippers though. Best kid. That's where it's at. I'm just passing by, but are these swimsuits? These are swimsuits. Ooh, 
I like them, that looks nice. And then I'm thinking this as like a beach cover up. This would be fantastic. How much is it? Ooh, $35, not so fantastic, but <laughs> it does look nice. A nice little flowy, breathable dress. Target has a load of really cute dresses right now. I actually, um, that's what I picked up in my order, a lot of them, so I'll share them with you in the haul. And also, I think last time I came, or not last time, like, I don't know, a few times ago before isolation, I bought a pair of earrings, but they weren't in my bags. It was sad, it was a sad day. I'm gonna breeze through the closing section because, I mean, it's what I'm really interested in right now, but I don't have the time to really show you what they have to offer. I will say this, I took two thumbnail pictures in the course of being here and when I was taking them, this one couple was there each time and they probably think I am like, someone let me out of the loony bin or something. Uh, best time of my life is taking thumbnail pictures, I'll tell you that. It's not awkward at all. Okay, bunch of jeans and stuff. Oh, I like those skirts shoes i just can't i don't have time Ooh, willie nelson <laughs> and then they have like disney characters right behind it oh i like that shirt though okay these are really pretty oh my gosh here are all of the dresses oh just so stinking cute love 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 Ooh, some mannequins right there fancy pants all right time for me to check out see you in a sec that was fun, that was a good time. I do feel like, I live in Florida, so it's kind of business as usual these days, and it was no different in Target. Man, my face does not match my body. I need to put, I need to start putting sunscreen all over, not just on my face. Think of how bronzed I would be. I am glistening though. I did sanitize. I'm okay to touch my face now. <laughs> okay, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and guess that this video is long enough already, so I will have to do a haul separately. But I hope you had some kind of sense of normalcy or some kind of like, what what is the summer section look like? Because I wanna get some things for my kids. So I, I hope in some way I helped you or at least just you know, gave you a virtual field trip. My kids have virtual field trips these days. It's so funny. Anyway, so I hope I gave you a virtual field trip to Target today. It just gave you a little bit of a break from your life. Just a smidge, just a smidge. Same as me, just a smidge of a break for me because now I've got to head home and deal with four crazies. Five if you count my husband. <laughs> okay, I'll see you next time, guys. If you want, subscribe, put a little happy in your day. Bye.